hi everybody at home. We're having another one of our uh, chats here from uh, one of the European events we're running. Again, this one is from Almeria. And if you think back, we were at Portimao and Aref and we did an Almeria before this one as well. So I'm here with the guys. Um, I've got Steve Brogan with us, our instructor. Uh, I've got Dave, a long time customer. I've got Pedro, another long term customer. And I've got his mate, and I've forgotten his name. Simon. It's Simon. <laughs> He's a first time customer. And a lovely fellow, I have to say. Also, you'll see that we've been sponsored for this uh, little chit chat by Coca Cola Zero. Give them a little, that's it, guys. Let them know about Coca Cola Zero. And that means that we can all have a chat. So, Steve, how's it been for you? Amazing, up to now. Um, great experience and it's great to be over here in the sun and enjoying our bikes um, obviously i've worked with these gentlemen over the last couple of days um, whether it be on general speed or just uh, keeping yourself safe and i can honestly say each one of them have improved in both areas speed and the safety and ultimately to enjoy their, their bikes uh, on this track and any other track that they go to so i've enjoyed it but more you guys? but more importantly steve have you made one of them look significantly better on track and on photo. Yeah, there was, I mean, I never thought within one session we could uh, see such an improvement, but Pedro, <laughs> Pedro sat in the middle here, actually uh, looked a little bit like a Grand Prix racer from a from a total novice in one session to a GP rider in the next session. So well done, Pedro. Took only 10 years. Uh, that was all good. good stuff. <laughs> and he's got a nickname now. That's Rossi, isn't it? Yeah, Rossi. Yeah. <laughs> he's not doing a little uh, adjustment as he gets on the bike as well, is he, in the in the lower region? Oh, he does all that. He does all the tackle adjustments. <laughs> <laughs> he's got other nicknames as well, though. <laughs> Dave, you've been coming with us for years. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's quite a, quite a yeah, number of years. Um, had a few sessions with Steve. Um, great to do it again today, uh, or, or the other day. Yeah. Um, good to get just a refresher of things that you actually know but you just need to be told again just as a timely reminder yeah you know? just stating to steve earlier um been around the track today and i've just had this little liver puddling this scouse voice <laughs> in my head <laughs> doing this and, and the lap times dropping off keeping safe caught with a few familiar faces uh, yeah other customers that come here yeah had a good time yesterday sparring off each other so uh yeah, great to be there. And how have you found the, you know, you've come over here, we, you know, we all know the situation throughout the world right now, and that's how, it, that's the reality of it, through the world, but how have you found it? Have you felt safe? My uh, my mother kept emailing me, and she thought I was signing my death warrant for right. coming out here. <laughs> and yeah, it's, uh, there's some restrictions. Um, yeah, you've got to wear a face mask everywhere. Mm. Um, yeah. Except when we're sponsored by Coke Zero. Spare, apart from all we're drinking. There's restrictions here, there's restrictions uh, in the UK back at home. Yeah. Um, you work with it. Um, we've had no issues whatsoever. Um, slightly different rules in the hotel, but slightly different rules at home as well. So, good. Very, very shaky really. good. Over to you, Pedro. Yeah, it's been good. Love of Maria, have been here many times. Uh, love the sessions with Steve. It's for me, it's very important safety. Yeah. So he caught a couple of things, and it's it's always good. I try to do it every year at least. Yeah. Um, I would like to thank you know Focus, the hotel, you know the guys at the at the circuit making an effort. Uh, masks, gloves all the time. Super safe, and it's been very empty. I mean, the whole place is very empty. So I I think actually. We're less at risk here than if we were back home. Yeah, right. But right. of course, when you go home, we need to do the quarantine and all that. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. I think it's worth the the four days off, five days to clear up your mind. Yeah. And it's been your first event. Yeah, first time here, first time to Almeria, and just echoing what Pedro said really. I think uh, you know, the hotel has been fantastic. It's been well organised. They geared up. Uh, you know times that we have these days yeah um, with Steve you know for me first time I've had tuition yeah um, and just telling me things that I hadn't even thought about before and I'm finding that as I go around the circuit now I just feel a lot more comfortable mm. so that allows you to go a little bit quicker if you want to because mm. I'm just feeling like in control and I don't know what I'm doing Again, I'm hearing his voice in my head. It's a little bit freaky, uh, but it's actually it's actually really good. Well, and it makes mine's a gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the bar later, boys. 
Yeah, so no, and I mean, again, thank you guys for organizing all of this. And, uh, We're leaving our bikes here on vacation because we think from now on, because of the, the whole situation, it gives the flexibility that is really, really good. Yeah. So the bikes are staying. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, my, I don't know what you guys think, but from my position, you know, these sort of things, I want to continue running them. It's really important for me that we continue running them because we can't let this damage our lives. That's my personal view. So we need to keep doing what we want to do. Be safe. Be safe, of course, and be clever about it, but and respect other people, but continue. We can't just lock ourselves away and be afraid to go out and, and do what we want to do. So I would like to thank you, and I'll thank the whole pit lane now for joining us here at Almeria. And uh, I know there's a few changes last night. Boris has been at the uh, at the front door again giving us a new set of rules but um, let's let's just see where we are I'm hoping to still run the November event and we'll certainly be here in December so um, take care of everyone at home let's go with it and um, keep ourselves safe as you all say but we'll get through this we'll get through it and on two wheels Thank see you. you everyone take see care you. Cheers. Cheers.